What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, feel like and subscribe. Today we have this epic nest of RIP tour here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So stick with me and check out this epic nest. So as we begin this epic RIP tour, we start heading our way to the back. We're actually gonna start our fine buffet before anything. So we'll fill up and get ready for the scares. So today, not only am I here by do RIP tour opening night, I actually brought my good friend Marsha here to give her her first ever experience at the theme park of Thrills for HHN. So she's very excited, maybe a little bit scared, but I want to see her initial thoughts. So the pretty cool thing, we get an exclusive buffet for one hour, all you can eat. So I can't wait to show you what type of foods we have. So they always want to start you off with a nice delight. As you can see here, we have more and more veggies. <laughs> pretty cool stuff right more here. stuff here. Cucumbers, no street corn, salad, some albi pokey, and some cocktail they come out with. They got these awesome little loaded tater ties. They got some fries, some mac and cheese, some zucchini, some pigs in a the basket. They got some bastami rice, and some good old fashioned wow, They got the delicious salmon right here. They got some nice tenders, some queso tamale, nice barbecue pizza. Vita flatbread and a four cheese pizza. And if you're interested, they do have some nice desserts here. You can see some cupcakes, some cheesecake. So a pretty cool thing is we're able to come out here to enjoy a nice, beautiful scenery. Like I said, don't mind the little pumpkins here watching us eat. But wow, you can see the whole Universal Studio Burbank. Yeah, the other wow. cool thing is they do offer some beverages. They do have some coffee, so everybody that wants to wake up, feel free. Um, they do offer some lemonade here. I think that's... Uh, so pink lemonade, waters, and pretty cool down here. They have actually more waters and sodas. Diet ones as well. We just finished Scare Actor Dining. Not only was that epic, uh, you're able to actually take a nice little photo out with Candyman. What? Well, hey, not a spoiler, <laughs> for real. But I didn't realize it was not a pup. It's actually a Scare Actor. And my friend Mar shook. Woo, shook for a minute there, huh? <laughs> that was just a picture. <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is the terror trap. Us, nope, and a bit of Hollywood Harry. I can't wait. So the cool thing about the terror trap, we actually get a private little trolley that's gonna take us all the way out there. And we might be able to hit the houses that are at the Curious George Park. It's my first time ever getting on this little cool little tram. Wow, it's amazing. Good guys. Good to Hollywood Harry. What? Um, the internet then dubbed him uh, Hollywood Harry. Some of you guys might remember him if you've been here before. Um, he was the actor, though, uh, Harold Kapowitz. He had his own television show, Poodle Carnival. It's like a kid's show, carnival clown type thing uh, back in the 50s. And he actually kind of was our mascot for the studio tour in the early days of the studio. And I can do what you want, all right? Take your time. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. makes the world go round, am I right? Yeah. All right, you want to get out of here? Go. Cool. Yeah. Go to Margaritaville, right?
Curious George parking structure where Halloween, the original, and Scarecrow, the Reaping. The Reaping. Follow me. Have your badges out and ready. Sorry, brother. <laughs> How do you feel? My hands are freaking shaking. Oh that was insane, but it was amazing. Oh, I can't, I need to catch my breath. Oh, uh, my initial thoughts on that house, it blew my mind. I did not expect what I seen in there. So much detail. It made me feel like in a goddamn barn with no ending. Just her reaction alone made me wonder, why was she ripping my shirt? Now, <laughs> Just got out of the Halloween house, not gonna lie to you. It was epic. It had the beautiful finale that I always love, but you don't know what you're gonna get. Ah, the mystery of Michael Myers. What's real with with what's fake? Ah, I cannot wait. And as you can see, I got Marshall here. What you think about that one? Oh my god. I feel like it was in the movies. It was I'm still trying to process it all. That was amazing. <laughs> see what I mean? For her first time, her second house ever, she was a lot braver in this one, but the other one. Oh, that's scarecrow. <laughs> I have never experienced anything like that. <laughs> well, let's see what else is in store for us tonight. So now we're on our way to do Universal Monsters Legends Collide. And then we're gonna do Killer Clowns and The Weekend. I can't the wait. area of that bar. If we get through these pretty quickly, which I expect we will, we'll head up there for a few minutes, get you guys a drink. And then we'll head on to the next one. Alright, I want to show you where that area is.
just got a Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Um, I had so much hype for this one. I honestly thought it was gonna have a cool story arc. It had its moments here and there, but I did not expect the return of the Black Wall Nation. No, no, no. That was a no-no for me. But overall, I did have in its moments that I really enjoyed. What'd you think about it, Marsha? I liked it, but not as much as the other ones. Yeah, see, her third house ever going, so she had a good hype, now she had a low. So let's see what else we get. So now we're gonna do the weekend, the one I'm anticipated the most. So I can't wait to see what's the difference from here, from Hollywood to Florida, because I had so much hype, so let's see if it's even worth it. So before we do the weekend house, we're actually gonna go through a back way to get to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So this way is exclusively for VIP guests. So shorter wait times quicker access i can't wait as you can see a bit, a bit of it Around space, it had its moments from the classic one we had, uh, but a couple things the black walls are in this one as well. What does it take for you guys to give me a full maze before I start swinging at somebody? Not playing about that part, but uh, what you think, Marcia? I liked it, but there was a lot of put they could have added a lot more stuff. See, she ain't even hyped up for it. So just got off the weekend, uh, my initial thoughts, it's way different than Orlando. It had a bunch of good moments. Not a, not a lot of black walls, so I can't really think on that. But I did like the transitions it had. It was something new and unique. But the only thing I really didn't like was, I didn't hear that much music that I was hearing over there. And that's what really got me into the groove. But let's see what Marsha got to think about it. I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Scary too. She thought it was scary. I thought it was it exciting. Was <laughs> That's why I keep getting hurt while I'm recording and shit. That's pretty funny about it. <laughs> well, now we're walking through Slideshow Slaughterhouse. something new and unique but i felt like the walking dead was way bigger and enormous that could have been used into multiple things but like i said it was nothing new that stood it out like it gave me an awe what'd you think about that one marcia i really like that one i like that one more than the really like hey everybody has their own opinion so if she liked it she liked it her name was maria she killed her
Yeah, so we just went through the Yorona maze instead of run, my bad. But that was pretty epic. It had some beautiful scares, not gonna lie to you. It got me in some moments. Uh, what'd you think about it? Oh my God, it lived to the legend. It really did. Scariest thing ever. <laughs> it was a house that she not want to get in. I really we... didn't. It was really <laughs> creepy and it, it lived to his name, La Llorona. <laughs> All right, let's go see what other house we can do tonight. I know it's a little dark right now, but we're gonna do the final house. Or the Blumhouse Freaky and the Black Phone. I can't wait. But the, the black phone kind of caught me off guard because I was expecting more of the story arc, which I kept seeing a bunch of the, I'm going to say the predator coming out here and there, but it was a bunch of like walls. I'm not sure. I, I really enjoyed it, but let's see what Marshall thinks. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. Not as scary, but it was pretty cool. I don't know. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Now we go through the Wizarding World to get through Scarecrow and Halloween. our epic adventure here for HHN Hollywood 2022 with this epic RIP tour with my good friend Marsha she had her first ever trip here I guarantee you she loved it and she'll definitely be back next year only doing our RIP tour because that's the only way to go definitely the only way to go great experience it's definitely it's definitely worth her money yes. and we may take in a lot of waters but hey that's not my problem though <laughs> 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 As always, thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Deuce.